Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I made a video, and I figured I would make a video and share this with you. Um, I did a little bit of pricing with uh, for um, copper online, and for what it's going to cost for me to rewind the motor, it would be cheaper just to buy one. Um, but I found another source. Obviously, I'm into electronics, so you know it wouldn't take long before I found another source. This took me about maybe uh, 20 minutes. To unravel all that, this is the same gauge as enough there to do maybe two phase, two phases of my motor. Uh, good, mo good windings, good wiring. Uh, it's a thicker gauge that uh, I have on the um, the hub motor now. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to save these old audio transformers, and uh, every time I run into a dead uh, amplifier or a receiver, I usually rip them out, and they've been sitting in my basement for pretty much ever. Um, I basically just took my grinder and just grinded off this weld. It doesn't go all the way through the um, the uh, coil or the um, the metal, and then we just basically hit it with a hammer and it pops off. Uh, I put it in the vise. It's on the floor there, and then I just basically knock the uh, center out, take the tape off, and then I can basically unravel it. I roll it up on this old tomato uh, uh, peanut butter jar. Uh, the reason I do that is because it's collapsible and it won't get so tight that it won't slip off. But uh, yeah, there's a nice source of half decent copper. It's going to work pretty good. And you can see I've got a few cuts from doing it. So let's just take this outside now and uh, I'll run you through taking it apart. This one actually went a little bit smoother as it was cutting, it fell off. It's not much holding it on. Anyway, there's not much holding it on, so uh, basically put it in the vise, and that uh, way make sure that the um, the st or stator, if you want to call it that, is not overlapping the uh, bottom of the vise. Just the wire is hanging on the sides, and uh, give it a few taps with the hammer. Sometimes it moves right away. Other times it does a little. little coaxing. And that's out. And there's your wire. There's actually two um, you got an inner and an outer. Oops, sorry. An inner and an outer. The thick stuff's in the middle. The really thin stuff is on the outside. And your stator, which gets recycled. I'll have a guy come around and pick that stuff up. It's uh, two of them I got now. So let me just. Uh, I don't know. Well, this one, this one's not too bad. The last one I had to really dig it out. This one's falling out. Just give me a minute. Just... I don't think it gets much better than that. <laughs> How nice and clean that copper is. There's a fuse in there. And then they got that one there. Let's get to unwinding. Well, that's about it. That's another one. Uh, I got this one here to go. This one's pretty big. It's pretty thick, too. Same gauge as that one. So, uh, I've got one more to go. And um, when I um, have enough to start my motor, I'll, I'll uh, post the video. Later, guys.